Hey guys, how you doing? Ow. Um, yeah, okay, so you're getting this with me not hot and sweaty and all like red face and everything, so uh, be grateful for that today. Instead, you get me sort of like push out. Uh, anyway, um, uh, so I haven't blogged for a little bit. I also have not been on Instagram for a bit, so a um, few reasons for that. Um, mainly, I literally just shut off my Instagram feed um, for the weekend uh, because, and pretty much really until today. Um, and that's because I, it turns out that I thought I was ready to deal with, um, something out of my fairly recent past. It turns out that I'm really not ready for it. Um, and having everything about, um, Kona just like filling my feed, really, I just couldn't deal with that. And stack on top of, on top of that, the, the, the fall I took on the bike, um, yeah, that's just not cool. I was just like, yeah, no, I'm done. And and, and I've really struggled. I've really struggled the last um the, the last week. Uh, I really I really have. Like just trying to keep my keep my head in the game, just trying to keep my my training um up because it freaking hurts. Like yeah, as I said, like the the grub the, the grub rush really freaking hurts. Like it's it's healing up slowly. Um it's pretty good. Like the stuff in my arms now is is getting a lot better. Um, the one on my flank is still sore, um, so it's still going to need to be easily recovered. I'm, I'm still hopeful that I should be, I, I, I'm pretty sure I should be right for, for Sunday, um, because I've got my, I've got my next race on Sunday, so I've got a sprint try over Bribe Island, so the first of the Bribe series, um, well, that's happening this, this weekend, so I'm going to be, uh, heading up there for that, so... And, and really, I'm doing that because I want the, I, I, I need the transition practice and I need the open water swim practice uh, before Noosa because Noosa's really not that far away. It's really not. Like, it's like two and a bit weeks away and that's terrifying. Like, really freaking terrifying. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much where I'm at at the moment and generally just, just struggling a bit. Um... I said my, my head's been really out of the game and um t today was hard today was hard today was today was a, a ride uh, like it's been it's been pissing down rain here in brisbane like it really has um well today today was supposed to be a ride today was like was, was practicing my um pacing on the bike because pacing doesn't equal speed um and i'm still getting my head around that concept uh so it's gonna be a, a a long sort of set an hour hour our, our 40 set, um, just focusing on pacing. But to get to the area where you do that, uh, I have to ride through the area where I have my accident. Um, and it was wet, um, but we sort of wasn't raining when I, sort of, when I was looking at doing it, and then I sort of kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, um, and then finally I went, you know what, I'm, I'm, I've got to go to work tonight. But anyway, I finally just went, you know what, you, you need to do this, you need to go out and do it. Um, I'm probably like, three k's into the ride and it starts raining and I'm psyching myself out like my head is just all over the place I'm sort of going is this really such a good idea you're going to be going where you came off and did a really major stack and you've really hurt yourself and it's hurting just to move and just to breathe is hurting and it's like are you really prepared to go through that in the wet like are you really prepared to do that um so I was really struggling anyway. I sort of just kept going. So okay, we'll just we'll just keep going. We'll go to this point and then we'll we'll reassess at this point and sort of you know a few k's down. And it's like okay, well I'm still upright. The rain's starting to ease off. Okay, let's keep going a little bit further. Let's reassess there. Um, one of the things that, that I'm not very good at. I'm not very good at sort of like you know fine maneuvering and stuff like that on a bike. I'm I'm really not. I I, I know that it's a thing I know I need to work on. I need to get a bit more time and effort to to actually. I, I know the drills I need to do. I just need to go out and do them. Um, so it was like, okay, um, I'm coming up to this bit which, where it's like this boardwalk thing, so I don't have to go anywhere near the main road. Um, I I'd sort of walked, I'd stopped, I walked across that boardwalk. I couldn't ride across. Um, I. I it's one of those things that I strug I've struggled with ever since I've started riding a bike is riding on that boardwalk. I really have because it's narrow. You can just get a cyclist to go you know, either side, like each way. Um, but yeah, I just 
balked and just went nut and I walked across. Possibly a good thing because there was a carpet snake um, on the bridge. So that was possibly a good thing that I sort of, because I can imagine, yeah, if I was riding and saw that, I would freak the fuck out and it just would have been all sorts of bad. Anyway, so probably, probably a good thing in hindsight. But I did that, got through to the other side, you know, so walked the bike through, got the other side, got back in and started riding. And then I came up to the part, of course, where I came off the bike and I just went, yep, you need to do this. You need to go through with this. And I did. And yeah, I'm really glad I did. Um, my pacing practice sort of then, then I sort of got down to the waterfront and did my pacing practice, um, which was challenging considering the the winds um that were that were there so it, it stopped raining by this point but as I said, it was still windy as fuck it really was um but yeah it was still a challenge but it was it was good and i think today was the most important thing today to, about today it was getting back into it because i didn't realize until today on this ride how much coming off that bike had actually affected me mentally um I mean, yeah, I've, I've been clipped by cars and I still was riding, like, no real issues, but this really threw me. Um, so I think today was really important that I got back in the saddle and I'm really glad that I, I persevered. I stuck with it. Like I did it. Um, on the way back, again, I walked the bike through the through the, through the boardwalk. I couldn't do that. Um, but yeah, it was really, really important that I did it today um, because, you know, again, I, I did the distance without stopping. So I really do know, know now that... I can do, and this is sort of the conversation I had with my coach, um, is the fact that with Noosa, is the fact that now I, I, I really have done all the distances now. I've, I've even done one and a half K open water swim. My first ever open water swim in Inogra Dam was one and a half Ks. So, you know, I, I have done the distances. I do know I can do the distances. I might take fucking forever, but I do know I can do the distances. So, um... I think it was really important today was getting back out on their bike and sort of just realizing that. And it, I'm not going to say it's quietened the it's quietened the demons, but it's sort of given them something to think about for a little bit um, and given me a bit of a a bit of a confidence thing. I'm still shit scared and terrified and not confident, but you know, I'm at the same time. It's sort of like okay, I'm a bit more determined or a bit rugged to do it, so. Glad I did that. Anyway, I'm heading off. I got uh, I got a uh, run squad tonight because I skimmed out on run squad yesterday. Oh, that's the other thing. Um, I am a complete bionic man again. Uh, so for those playing along at home, if, again, that was the other thing. That's the other thing that threw me. So yeah, again, sorry, I forgot. I haven't been blogging. Um, so my insulin pump shit itself on Saturday. Cool story. So my pancreas just sort of just went, you know, hey, cool story, bro. Our buttons are just going to fuck out and we're done. Like, that's just completely throw me. So that's like, oh shit, uh, what the hell do I do? And of course, it did it on a Saturday. So pump, you know, trying to get tech support and a replacement is like really hard. Um, and it meant that I had to go back to injections. And I said, I'll tell you what, injections? I don't know how I did it for so long. Um, like my levels were been all over the place and, um, I had to bail on, um, my run training on, um, I had to, I had to bail on, um, try training on Sunday and run squad on Tuesday morning because of the fact that my levels had just been so fucked. Um, and so, you know, it, it's one of those realizations that, you know, um, cause the math is completely different trying to work out, you know, how to, to, to dose yourself, um, for when you're on injections versus when you're on a pump, they, the math is completely different. Like there's some similarities, but there's really not a lot and it really threw me out. And, um, I, yeah, like literally like the, the Saturday night, Sunday morning, my levels were all over the damn shop. Um, so I had to bail on training and that was gutting for me, like not being able to like the first time in like forever, not being able to train. Um, and that was really, and that sort of, again, played in the whole mindset of what are you doing leading into Noosa and all this stuff. And it's just really been messing with my head. So, um, but on the flip side, uh, it also means I've realized how good, like how much of an improvement that the pump therapy really has made to my life. Um, so that's really a positive. So yeah, for that. Anyway, but um, 
yeah, so that's sort of like, you know, where that's all at. As I said, it's been a bit of a challenge um, this week. Um, finally got my replacement, so thanks to Medtronic, uh, it, is, it was still under warranty, so I did get a replacement. They, were a bit hard. they had to struggle to find a replacement for me, but they did. Uh, so my replacement turned up uh, yesterday afternoon just as I was heading into work, so uh, I am a complete bonus man again. Um, and cool story, I've got, it's a very stylish, it's a very stylish one this time. Um, it's white. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's, it's very stylish, uh, no longer like the, uh, the, the, the gothic black anymore. It's sort of like, I've got the, uh, very stylish white now going on to the, uh, anyway. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. My levels are sort of slowly coming back down together. I'm still running a bit high at the moment, I think. But, um, yeah, it's definitely been, uh, as I said, it was a challenge and a freak out, uh, that I really, really could have done without this week with piled on top of everything else. As I said, a lot happened this week and a lot of it was emotionally very draining that I struggled with and anyway, but now I am gearing up for racing. So as I said, I've got um, a sprint try. So my second, second triathlon ever, uh, sprint try coming up this weekend. So that'll be uh, Bribe Island. Um, just as a, just a sprint try. So it's really there as I said, to get uh, some practice in for open water swim and for my transition. Um, and then uh, Noosa uh, in two weeks. That's terrifying. Really terrifying. I really should book my accommodation for that. Really should. Anyway, anyway guys, uh, that's, that's it. So that's the update. That's me. I'm a complete bionic man again. I'm freaking out, but that's okay. Um, but I'm back together and healing up. So there you go. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to check out because I have to go to Run Squad. So uh, have fun. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next episode. Take it easy.